welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Erin and I am the gentle thrifty mama so happy new year it's been a long time since I've done a video and I thought I would you know hop back in by sharing a thrift haul I love filming thrift hauls I know that you guys love thrift hauls as well so that is what uh, the video is going to be today and I want to say happy new year and uh, yeah we can just hop right into the uh, video right now so this is stuff that I've collected from various um, thrift stores for the past I don't know several months maybe since November December and uh, we will just hop right in. So the first thing I have to share with you guys are a pair, uh, not a pair, but a um, set of four uh, Corningware mugs. These are the, uh, based off the Pyrex, let's see there, oh, there we go, the Pyrex pattern uh, Spring Blossom, and they were 99 cents a piece. So I got a set of four, they were in excellent condition, and um, I just couldn't pass them up. They were, you know, kind of a classic look there. So I picked those up for um, four dollars for all four. And then at the same place, same Salvation Army, I picked up two uh, Corel um, mugs, like these little mugs here. And um, I think they may, they're supposed to come with like a little saucer, but I think there was one saucer, but it wasn't in excellent condition, so I didn't pick it up. But anyway, these were also 99 cents. And they are, yeah, Corel by Corning Wear or Corning, and they are in the butterfly gold uh, pattern based on the Pyrex butterfly gold. So anyway, 99 cents uh, for those. And then let's see. I will continue on. On that trip, I found this. And this was the trip that I actually went on most recently although I went out this morning, but on the weekend I went out, um, or last week, and I filmed, not filmed, but I played the game again on my Instagram. My Instagram is gentle thrifty mama. I played the would you buy this game, and this thing here, mostly everybody, I think maybe 90% of you said no you would not buy this, <laughs> but I bought it. So it seems that I always buy things that, um, people aren't interested in or something. I don't know how that works, but anyway, it is this beautiful little um, stoneware uh, little container. It's, it's a little container. I don't know if it maybe originally came with uh, coasters inside or something like that, but I just thought it would be a good little place for, you know, little trinkets or jewelry or something like that. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was really unique and it has this beautiful iris on it there. And I just like the coloring of it. So there it is in a bit more focus. This is, uh, it was $2.99 and it's signed on the back um, Magna and then it says uh, 87. So it's, I guess, a vintage piece being older than 20 years old. And um, yeah, I just really like this. So I like the shape and how unique it was. So I was happy to pick that one up there. And then that same day, I found two glasses, like drinking glasses, and they are these ones here. I don't know much about them, uh, except that I liked the way they looked. <laughs> and so these, this one here has uh, roses on it, and it's rose for the month of June. And then it has a little description on the back. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. If I go like that, you can see it. So uh, the rose... Um, rose flower of June and then it just has a little description on the back all about the rose and what it means and that sort of thing. So I was happy to find uh, that there. Their glassware I think is, oh yeah, 59 cents a piece. So pick that one up and then also same style, uh, but it is the daffodil for the month of March and my son is born in the month of March and so I just thought it was a special piece, but I'll probably resell these. I'm not uh, sure if I'll keep them or not, but this is the daffodil one here and then it just has the flower of March daffodil on the back. So I did um, like the way that this one was just because it's sort of springy. It says, in the infancy of spring comes the daffodil as if to herald the coming of bright new beginnings. Daffodil remains symbolic of rebirths and awakenings. So anyway, I like that and uh, pick that up also for 59 cents. And uh, I will likely resell uh, that. So my resale shop is actually, I want to say, like up and running in the next week or so. Uh, you can find all the information that you'll need on Instagram. 
Uh, the Instagram handle is The Collection Vintage, and I had a show um, local to me in Ottawa, and uh, it went really well. Like financially, it didn't go as well as I thought it might, but I think it's just that I didn't pick the show correctly. Like it was more of a maker show and not a reseller, like vintage show. So anyway, I still, you know, came out ahead, and I was happy about that. So. One thing that did actually sell really well at that uh, show was mugs. Just single mugs, not uh, paired or anything like that. And so I found two mugs recently that I thought I would buy. And the first one here is a built-in, uh, built-ins made in England mug. It's got like herbs all around it. And I really like the look of this. It's, it's you know, vintage, the vintage that I like. And uh, it's got a good sort of feel to it. It's got mint, chives, and marjoram on there. And uh, it's marked $1.25, but today at the Salvation Army, uh, local to me, all their mugs and glassware was 25 cents. So I picked that one up for 25 cents there. And then this is another mu uh, mug that I picked up at Salvation Army, a uh, different one, and it was 99 cents. So this one here, it's just nice sort of neutrally colors, and I like this sort of gray speckledness of this. And these types of mugs are the ones that actually sold really well, this sort of like, 70s vibe mugs uh, sold well uh, at my show. So anyway, picked that up for 99 cents. They didn't sell for like a heck of a lot. I, I had my mugs priced at $8 a piece, but uh, they were like flying off the table. So anyway, that is that. Then let's see. Also this morning, I picked up this cutie here. This is a June little figurine. Uh, June being represented by the um, pearl there. So this little girl here, uh, she's by the company uh, Joseph Originals. And this one was made in Japan and it was $1.50. So she's in excellent condition. I did notice um, that she's got a teeny tiny, like so teeny tiny little paint wear. It's not even a chip, I would say, but paint wear on the gold here of the flower, but still in really great condition. So uh, I picked her up and I will resell her. And also at Salvation Army, um, sort of recently, but maybe, I don't know, a month ago, <laughs> I picked up these two cuties. It's a little planter and uh, you can fit like a little, um, it's like a bud vase, I guess. And I thought they were just quite adorable. There was like a kind of weird looking bow glued on right here that I actually took off and there's a little bit of residue of the glue. I think I can probably peel that off. It just feels like um, hot glue. And so I'm gonna peel that off, get rid of it. And uh, I think I'll probably use this in some Valentine's Day decor just cause they look uh, so in love. So anyway, pick that up and it was $1.50. And actually, I think it was 75 cents because I believe yellow tag that day was 50% uh, off. Uh, let's continue on here. Okay, let's talk about something here. Pyrex. <laughs> um, I just started collecting Pyrex, uh, I don't know, six, six or so months ago. And uh, although I've used Pyrex for a while, I inherited a set from my grandma um, quite a while ago. I don't know, maybe... I don't know, long time ago. And, uh, but now I've just started collecting to use, but also to display. Um, and so I know that sort of the dishwasher damage and stuff like that uh, obviously messes with the paint of it. But I um, found these two pieces of Pyrex and they were affordable, like under $3 a piece. And I wanted to save them <laughs> because no one's gonna love these and I thought that I would love them um, and give them a second home or another home. They've probably been around a long time. So this is the first one here. I know everybody start crying, but I thought I would just sort of like hashtag save the sad Pyrex. And so this is a very, very sad piece, but it was $3. And uh, I'm gonna try and do my best to sort of shine it up as much as I can. Um, but I don't know, I sort of like the texture in this. I, I, obviously I would prefer it to be in pristine condition, but I like the texture of this. So um, I picked that up for $3. And then there was another one that I picked up another day. This was a while ago. It was $2.50 and this one also is quite sad. Um, not as sad as the other one, but I also like the color. It's it's kind of turned into this peachy color, and um, although it's coming off kind of orangey on camera, but it is sort of like peach in real life, and uh, I like that. 
So for $2.50, I thought I decided to sort of save it. So I'm going to be on the lookout for some sad Pyrex and I'm going to, if it's affordable, I'm, I'm not going to pay a lot of money for something that's, you know, not in the best condition. But for me, for my personal collection, I'm going to save the Pyrex. So moving along, <laughs> I picked up this plate at Salvation Army. It was 99 cents and this is another sort of style that I like. It's that speckled gray, um, I don't know, I love the, the look of this. So I picked that up for um, likely myself. I might not resell this because it's just a single plate, but I, I use single plates like I have a plate wall and I can use this for, you know, actually eating off of. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I like the flowers, I like the colors and uh, it's by Rye Pottery um, of England. So happy to find that and pick it up at the Salvation Army and then this one here was another thing that kind of made me giggle because um, in the Instagram would you thrift this thing there were two strawberry plates that I found I put them side by side and I said which one would you guys choose left or right and this one here was on the left and everybody mostly wanted to choose the one on the right but I of course chose the one on the left so I don't know what that means but anyway uh, this strawberry pie plate I found and I bought it because usually you would use this like in the summertime when strawberries are fresh and ripe and stuff and um, like in season and the strawberries on this plate were much more colorful and I like that so picked up this strawberry plate here it was two dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, I can't wait to either use this in the summer or uh, display this in the summer. Next, I've been sort of thrifting teeny tiny candles lately um, just because I found a couple of candle holders that take smaller candles and so I've been into the um, thin tapers. So I found this set here. I don't think it's that old, but it was $3.99, so not that um, cheap, but I did have a 20% off coupon and they're these here. And at first I thought they were uh, kind of smelly, but they're not smelly, so let me take them out. These are them here. So they're a little kind of, I don't know, dusty or something like that. But anyway, I found this pack of six for uh, $3.99 less 20%. Then this one here I found, and I think I believe I paid 50 cents for it. It's at a um, thrift store close to me that doesn't charge, doesn't price their items, but when you bring it up, the woman sort of gives you a price. And these are called I really like the packaging. They're called um, Risqué Candles. And this is the packaging here. It's really tall. They're sort of like chandelier candles. And um, I really like them. They're super, super skinny. And I'll take one out for you. Um, and you'll see how skinny it is. This skinny one here. So I really like that. I thought that was super cool. And uh, orange. I don't see orange candles that often. So. I don't know how many are in here, does it say? I feel like maybe there are 12 in here. It doesn't say, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. oh, maybe 10. But anyway, they're all in here and not broken, so I was happy to find that. Like I said, I think I paid about 50 cents. And then these ones here, I also like the packaging, and it's by the same company, Carol Candles. They're a Canadian company. And I loved the mint color of these ones. These were $1.99. Next, I found this. I don't, it's not priced, so I think I probably found it at the unpriced thrift store, so I must have got it for a good deal. And it's also a Joseph Originals, but it is this little cutie here. I thought this would be perfect for spring decor with like the little flowers. And then there are some dry flowers in here, but they're kind of a little worse for wear. So I'll have to add something new in there. But I just thought this little one here was so adorable. And so it's got a Japan sticker on the bottom there. So I don't know much about it, but um, I don't know. I probably paid like a dollar or something like that. This their store is really cheap. So happy to find that for spring and then let's see I've still got quite a bit of stuff so hopefully you're still hanging in there I found this deer here um, at the value village before Christmas time and it was actually stuffed in a grab bag in the kids toy section so I usually look through those for my kids or for myself <laughs> for Disney items and stuff like that uh, but this was in there marked $1.99 and so I think I got a really great deal on this deer here. 
super, super adorable. I basically, everything else that was in the bag I wasn't interested in, so I redonated it, and uh, I picked this up for $1.99. So it's, I used it for Christmas decor, and I think I might take off the ribbon and use it for some Valentine's Day decor, just cause there's like a little hint of pink in the ear, and I don't know, I just think this is super cute. Then also at Value Village on a more recent trip, I picked up this, and I actually picked up these before, and I sold them at my show that I just um, sold at, and they sold really well, actually, and, and uh, I had a big one and then a smaller one, and so I found this. There was a whole set of them, but they were really priced quite expensively, and so I thought for resale, um, or even for myself, I didn't really want to spend that much, so I found I picked up one of them and I paid $6.99, so $7 for this. Um, it is a canister, like a tin canister or aluminum, and it's sort of like a yellow apple, and it's very 50s, I'd say, maybe 60s uh, decor, uh, maybe for the kitchen or something like that. So anyway, I was really happy to find that. I didn't really like the price, but it was, I guess, 20% off, but still kind of pricey. So anyway, I picked up one of them. There are still three of them left at the store um, if someone hasn't picked them up by now. But anyway, I just, they were priced anywhere from, I think, $9.99 down to $5.99. So I picked up the one that was $6.99. So anyway, that is that. Then I picked up these also a long time ago at Salvation Army. And um, they were yellow tag, and I believe that, again, they were 50% off. Usually, I shop only the 50% off tags at my Salvation Army just because uh, I'm cheap like that. But also, you know, I don't really need anything. <laughs> and so, I really try and get the best price possible. So, I picked up these two little dolls. I just think they are so cute. Their little bangs go in front of their eyes. I don't know if I like that or not like that, but I think it's kind of cute. They're a little frazzled. Uh, they don't have any clothes on, but I've got Valentine's Day on the brain. I guess it's just because it's almost here, almost. But anyway, it's the next big holiday, and I was thinking I could make out of felt little sort of um, shift dresses for them with maybe hearts on there like a red dress with a pink heart and then a pink dress with a red heart and they'd be a cute little duo so um i paid 75 cents for both of them and um i don't know they were just adorable so i picked them up those are the cute dolls then i picked up this at uh the mission thrift store and uh, it was $1.49 and it is this beautiful little rainbow uh, little teapot or creamer or something like that. So um, I like this design. It's pretty 80s, maybe 90s to me and it was only $1.50. So the size is really adorable. <laughs> so I picked that up there. That is that. I found some new um, linens, some vintage linens. These were uh, pillowcases. So the first one is not a set, it's this yellow one here. It's got pretty patterns on it, pretty yellow and uh, orangey, reddy type roses. And uh, the yellow color, it's kind of being washed out here, but the yellow color is great. There are no stains on it. It's a really, really soft cotton. And I believe I paid a dollar. Where's the tag? Yeah, I paid a dollar, yep, at my Salvation Army. So I was happy to get that there. And then also at, no, these weren't Salvation Army. These were the Mission Thrift, just on my recent trip. And it's got like this blue and green um, pattern here. And it's a set of two pillowcases and they match, uh, sorry, of course they match, <laughs> but there are no stains on them. And uh, they were 49 cents a piece, so a dollar for two of them. As I do, I scroll the anthropology website sometimes just because I like the style. And I saw this pretty basket. Um, obviously, it was too expensive for something that I would want it for. And um, it was it was just like this. So I saw this at the thrift store. The size isn't the same, but the style is the same. And it was $3.50, but it was 50% off. So I had seen it like for a couple weeks, and then once yellow tag was 50% off, it was still there, and so I picked it up. And um, I don't know how what I'll use this for exactly, but uh, I liked the style and I thought that was pretty cool. So happy to pick that up there. And then we're winding down here, just a couple more items. This I found at the um, 
let's see, where did I find it? Value Village. <laughs> and it was $3.49, but actually it was 50% off because I went on a 50% off day with my kids. It was crazy, but uh, I was in the mood to thrift and I had my kids with me, so we went all together. It was nuts, so I ended up paying uh, $3.50, $1.75 for this, and it is this vintage towel. So I got, you know, some new linens, florals, of course, and it's got this great yellow color, and um, I don't know, I really love that pattern, so I was happy to pick that up. I've got a bit of a collection of vintage towels, and um, that I actually use and I think I'll resell them. I feel like they'll be easy to ship and stuff like that. So I don't know, this was really pretty and so I was happy to pick that up for $1.75. Then I got this piece of artwork here. I think I'm gonna paint the frame, but I'm unsure. Um, but it is this beautiful piece here. I loved the colors. I, I love the uh, orange with the blue and so it is this piece here and uh, it was also kind of pricey this was from Valley Village it was $6.99 uh, minus 20% off but I really really loved this so I think I, I'll paint the frame I don't know what color maybe like a teal color or something like that um, yellow I don't know what would you paint this if you were to paint a color up keep in mind I like bright colors, maybe white would be nice. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what color you would paint the frame. So, um, happy to find that there. And then, a couple more things here. I found this lampshade, also for 50% off on a yellow tag day at Salvation Army. I don't really like this pattern here, but it is a lampshade that has the wiring, um, throughout so I was thinking of taking off the fabric and then just having sort of the wire um, lampshade and put it on a lamp and sort of you know the look where they use the wire <laughs> lampshades without the fabric I like that look and so sometimes it's hard to find the shades with the wiring um, in it so happy to find that it was 275 so 50% off 275 and then last thing I picked up was this apron, which um, when I did my Instagram, would you thrift this story um, or game or whatever, everybody really liked this. And I was like, oh yay, something everybody likes that I like also. So <laughs> it is this uh, apron here. It looks quite vintage, but I don't think it is. Like just by, I can tell by the um, stitching and stuff like that, it does, doesn't seem like vintage st stitching to me and it doesn't feel vintage but it looks vintage so this is it here and uh, I don't know I just thought it was really cute I love the pattern I like the color so I was happy to get that it was $4.99 so not the cheapest but was it from Salvation Army oh yeah it was from Salvation Army and that day I did actually have a $10 off coupon if you spend 25 or more so I did get a bit of a discount on that and then I lied there is one more thing <laughs> so if you're still here thank you for uh, sticking through with me uh, I got this basket I just remembered and uh, it's huge beside me but I just remembered so it's this huge basket here you can fit a lot of stuff in there and uh, it was $4.99 and it's got these nice sort of almost leather or suede uh, handles and this is always great for sort of organizing various things <laughs> I was thinking maybe either uh, Miriam's American Girl doll stuff if she wants to sort of bring them downstairs or uh, for winter stuff like at the front door just like hats and mitts and all that sort of stuff because it always ends up a big mess at my front door so that is a big basket there I picked it up as they were sort of announcing like new cart or whatever and I ran over and I saw it and I picked it up and I think two or three people as I was strolling the store with that in my cart they're like ooh good find so <laughs> I felt pretty good about that anyway that is my huge, huge thrift haul, uh, you know, for a couple months worth of stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend if you think that they'd enjoy it too. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe so you don't miss a video in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.